Another option um, is again TP-Link. No particular reason, I just came across it. It was selling off in a local supermarket, um, Sainsbury's. It was reduced from like 50 pound down to 40. So I bought it in the sale over the new year. Um, but it looked good. Now this is great. The, the idea is fantastic. When I was looking at my office in the garden, I was thinking I had to run another telephone line, another cable in, uh, I'm with Virgin. So I thought I'd run another cable in and it's gonna be quite expensive to do so. Did my search online, this idea came up and basically what it is, is you've got a plug, you've got two plug systems. One plug system um, with a wire goes into your um, modem, your, your internet box, um, and that gets plugged into a socket into the wall whilst it's still connected to the internet um, modem. The other one gets plugged into the other area, which will be my office in the garden, and you get a wire running from there into the computer. And then what happens is, which is the clever bit, is that because this one is plugged into the main modem, your main internet modem, the signal from that, which for mine is a cable signal for internet, travels through the electrical wires of the house and into this box here, which then converts it into a internet connection signal for the, um, for the computer or whatever you're using um, in the office. So in effect, you get like a secondary modem system wherever you want as long as you've got it connected to the main house electrical system which is quite fantastic really okay i opened the box i've got two sockets two wires and an instruction leaflet now it's, it's simple really simple to use it looks very simple i'm going to try it out in a minute and show you how i'm doing it but as i said before um it's a really easy system to use it's quite simple and it reduces the need to have to have another line coming into the garden for my office. The data trans transmission it tells me is rates up to 600 uh, megabytes per second, depending on the, um, the, the level of speed you've got coming into your house in the first place. I think I've got mine about 100 megabytes per second in, in this area. Um, it uses the electrical waves within your own existing electrical wire system of the house. Um, it's ideal for HD video streaming, apparently. Uh, it's got integrated power sockets um, so that no power outlet is going to waste. So what it means is that because I'm using the power socket already for this, if I've only got one power socket, I can plug an additional uh, piece of equipment into the socket already there. So I'm not losing a power socket, which is brilliant, really. Um, it means you can plug and play design, easy encryption on a push, uh, on a push of pair button. So what that means is that you, you plug them in, you push the button there and it talks to each other, it pairs it up. It's also got a power saving mode, which automatically reduces power consumption by up to 85%, which is pretty good as well. So it's not being used, it kind of shuts down a little bit and it doesn't use power unnecessarily. It looks like some little air vents there as well. Some sort of, I don't know if it makes a noise at all. There's the ethernet cables at the top for both of them. So you plug one into the, um, the modem, the, um, I keep calling it a modem, I think it's called something else, but it's called the uh, the router. I always call it a modem, a bit old fashioned really, but a router. And as you see the instructions here, explain better than I can. I'm gonna plug the uh, first one in and put the ethernet, cab ethernet cable into my router. And then I'm going to pair the other one in the office and plug that into my laptop. Press the buttons on both, within a few, uh, about a minute of each other, and they should start talking to each other then. That sounds very easy. Um, create a secure power net, which, which I'll be doing. It says here, press the pair button on one of the power line devices for one second, its power LED starts blinking, which is, I think, this one here. One of that one there, and it'll start blinking on there. Within two minutes, press the pair button on another device for one second, its power LED starts blinking on the other device, on there. When the power line LED is on and stable, it's done. So I'm gonna go away and get it set up. I'll show you what I've done, and we'll see what kind of connection I get in the office. I've plugged the ethernet cable into the top of one socket and the other in the back of the router, as you can see there. As you can see, I've plugged it into the main socket. They recommend plugging it into a main socket and not a, an extension cable 
um, because the line goes straight into electrical wires of the house and doesn't get um, I suppose, um, reduced anyway. I'm going to press the button at the top. You can just see it there. Press that button there. Hold it down for a couple of seconds. And then go and press the button on the one in the office and they'll start pairing. As you can see, I've plugged it into the main socket, which connects to the main electrical sockets uh, wires of the house. Connect to the Ethernet cable up to the laptop. As you can see in there. And if you can see on the screen here, I have got speeds of 100 Mbps. And that's pretty cool. That is the same as the main, uh, the main um, internet in the house, exactly the same speed. And to prove it to you, I've got no Wi-Fi up at the moment. It's purely just the cable coming from the uh, electrical supply into the computer. Look, no funny business. There it is, coming around. And just to prove it to you, I'll play a video from YouTube of my mentor, Stuart Ross. Sure. Your job, it's your responsibility as the entrepreneur to okay. actually figure that stuff out. So do your research. And that's live. Say, well, so live on YouTube anyway. Uh, the first thing I'll say is so there you go. We have got internet connection in the office, outside, in the garden, as promised. And there's no extra cables. It cost me 40 quid. All it's cost me to get an internet cable, a fast speed for ourselves in this area. It's no, no faster than 100 anyway. For this area, that's pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll speak to you again soon. Many thanks.